guys, do you get really excited when you see a really cool, big old, beefy banger? Me too! You're in the right place, guys. Time to check out this Black Brick BB3 V2. That is right, YouTube. We have the new Black Brick BB3 V2 sub over here. This thing is insane. Now, if you'll remember the BB3 V1 that I did, it was basically a SCAR VXF. Whereas this guy, definitely not the case anymore. We've got some major upgrades, so let's get into it. First off, real quick, let's check out the specs on this bad boy. So right now it is priced at $329.99. Seems to be just a new price for subs, apparently. There's the response curve. Of course, carbon fiber does cap. Carbon fiber reinforced uh, it's non-pressed paper cone. We still have the aluminum TI basket, dual 2 ohm. Is a 3-inch high temp copper voice coil, reinforced upper plate, 4-layer spider, 1500 watts RMS. It does have a, a better surround on it. X-Max is 25 millimeters FS, 36.31 hertz, sensitivity 83.5 dB, frequency response 23 to 250 hertz. And then here are some uh, specs for the enclosure. So for a ported one, it says 2.1 cubic feet tuned to 33 hertz. My box is 2.5 cubic feet tuned to 32 hertz. But of course, the sub will take up some displacement as well. So we should be pretty close to spec there. It says port area. 20 square inches. So let's see what we got going on over here. Of course, we have that nice carbon fiber reinforced uh, dust cap and cone. Looks really, really beautiful, guys. Love, love the look of this thing. And they did upgrade the surround. It's just a little bit thicker and uh, just a tougher surround. So if you're really, really pushing this thing, you don't got to worry about it tearing. We have your just super standard gasket around here. Now moving on to the basket that did say they upgraded the uh, top plate just so it would be a little bit stronger since this is a really, really heavy sub. It has a really heavy motor on it. We, of course, have that four-layer spider. We have the flat tinsel leads. There's just one uh, lead per coil there, as you can see. We've got these nice, big push terminals. I really like these things. They'll fit an eight-gauge, super easy. You could probably even about squeeze some six-gauge in there if you needed to. We've got this big old fat motor. This thing is really, really big, guys. We, of course, have that copper coil in there. And he did say they did add extra of the high temp uh, coating on it. So it should be at least fairly resistive to some heat. Now, personally, I like seeing the black coils in these little more uh, robust subs. Kind of like what we have in there on this American base. Or what we have in here on this Defmont. But again, um, I know... The coils on the VXFs and the original BB3s did fine, so I'm not uh, anticipating any issues whatsoever with this thing. I guess we'll see. We also have a beautiful boot over here that does say black brick. Oh, and we got this just huge motor on this thing. This motor is massive. Now this American Base HD, I know it's upside down, but it has kind of your standard 300 ounce motor on it. Whereas this guy is way bigger. I'm not exactly sure what size it is, but I would guess it's at least 350 ounces. Maybe even getting close to 400. I'm not exactly sure, guys. But it is a big old, big old thick fella. Like, just look at the difference there. There's the American base. There's the black brick. There's you. There's her friend you told you not to worry about. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. I love the American base HD. Great sub. Well, guys, I am super, super excited to get this guy in the car and start testing it out. So without further ado, that's just what we're going to do. All right, guys, the owner of Black Brick texted me and said that he wants to give you all a special discount for checking out the video. So if you want to get anything from his store and use the discount code pound with Parker, you'll get an uh, additional 25% off. And I believe that's anything in this store. So that is an insane deal, guys. That is awesome. Thank you, Austin, so much for doing that for the viewers. Now, guys, I don't get a kickback or anything, so this does not help out me if you use that code. Totally just for y'all.
this thing seems to love the lows. Now, as I said, this box is 2.5 cubic feet, tuned to about 32 hertz or so. Loosen up a little bit, but it's still really stiff. That's why it's handy to have a nice 8K amplifier to test these things out with. But yeah, this thing is smashing those lows, guys. This is awesome. I've had those two kicker tins in here, and they were great, but they didn't really smash the lows, so it is nice to have something back in here that really gets down deep. Well, I guess now let's go ahead and do the musical RMS test. I'm sure it'll make it through that, no problem, but hey, might as well do it just in case, just to see how it does. Another thing is rated for 1,500 watts, so... We're going to keep it around that bar park as close as we can. Of course, it'll, it'll jump around, but let's see what we get. Always a relief when I make it through one of those tests, guys. You just never know. I have had subs that blow up while doing that. So, again, nice. Uh, don't feel any heat up here on the dust cap. I do smell it a little bit, though, when I get in here. So, that is what it is. We were pushing it pretty much staying between 1,000 to 2,500 watts there. And it made it through without any damage, it looks like. So, good to go. Okay, we're going to run a test tone through it just to see where this thing peaks at. And then we'll just bump it up from there and see how loud we get. Okay, 700 watts. And we peaked at 39 hertz. Alright, that time is 1600 watts. Huh, it says 30 hertz, so I kind of doubt that. But let's bump it up again. All right, 3,200 watts. There we go, that says 40 hertz. That looks a little more uh, normal. We'll do it once more just to verify. Now it says 36 hertz. What the heck? We'll give it one more shot. It says 33 hertz. Not sure why it's being all over the place like that, but it is what it is. We'll try somewhere between that 35 to 40 hertz and just see what it does. Okay, we're going to start out with 40 hertz, see what we get. We put 1500 watts through it, and we got a 139.1. Had that guy moving, 2500 watts, but it says 138.8. Really moving there. 3,200 watts though. Oh, but it says 141.4. 3,300 watts again. Ah, oh, not bad, a 142.1. Okay, let's try like 37 hertz. See if that's any different. Guys, that guy has some movement to it. 2,500 watts. Ah, and that did help. Got a 143. All right, let's try 36. Shoo, that guy's moving. And only a 142.4. All right, let's just try 35 watts for the heck of it. And only a 139.2. Okay, we'll try 38 hertz. 3,500 watts. And a 142.8. We'll try it again at 38 hertz. And only a 142.3. Okay, 37 hertz seems like the sweet point, so I'm going to turn it up one more time. Um, it probably will clip, but hey, we'll just see what we can get. Really moving there. It says 2,600 watts, but got a 143.6. Well, this thing seemed to like to peak best at 37 hertz, and I think that was a 146.6. Not a bad score at all. Again, this guy loves low. Seems to be pretty efficient uh, too. So that is awesome. Great score and the sub held up really well. All right, what I really love about this thing is it has some great excursion 
really does well with those lows and overall sounds pretty good. So been very, very happy with thing. Again, glad to have something back in the car that can really smash some lows. But overall, I love the sub. It looks really cool and it gets down. So I am happy with it. Now, the only thing I would change on this up personally is I would love to see the uh, black coating on the coil. Personally, I just had really, really good luck of subs that have that. And I don't know why. I just like it. So that is really the only thing I would change. But other than that, this sub is insane, guys. And I'm so stoked to have it in here. This has been awesome. Once again, huge shout out to Black Brick for helping out the channel and helping bring y'all some content. Okie dokie, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for the giveaways we're doing on the channel. I think over my, on my Facebook page next, we're giving away the CT Sound 8-inch sub and the 700-watt amp as a base package to someone. So as soon as that page gets to 2,000 likes, we'll be giving that away. And then I have some other... I think I have a couple 12s I'm going to be giving away after that. So stay tuned for those guys. Go check out the Facebook page. The link is in the description below. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much. I know I say it every time, but I really, really mean it. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are the reason I do what I do, guys. And I'm so, so blessed to be over here just filming all these crazy subs for y'all. So really, really appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the holidays. And remember, as always, guys, keep basing on.